ये दर्द रहेगा बन के दवा तुम सब्र करो वक्त ने दो वी गोना हैव अ लो एलिगेशन कॉर्नर आंसर्ड राइट नाउ सो जाय जाकला अम सो अम नॉट अ रीजन हियर टुडे but uh, i'm going to cover for him and so there's one allegation which which has come up um and uh, him the answers actually answered it very nicely um but um, i'll just go over it quickly so him the answers this is his page um, he posts things all the time um what we're going to look at today is this this one um and this is um noman ali khan who exposed sheikh umar suleiman so basically he's showing that within the muslim umma there's so much um there's so much you know differences people are saying things and other people are contradicting them and um what um this guy sheikh umar suleiman says um is about this verse specifically and mubariz I'll, I'll bring you in as well in a bit but um he speaks about this verse so uh this one um so specifically talking about jesus alayhi salatu wasalam and you know how jesus was put on the cross um so they take this verse wa ma qataluhu wa ma salabuhu walakin shubbiha lahum so this word is what we're going to concentrate on today is shubbiha lahum and so what um this guy says um this umar guy um sheikh umar sahab um i'll just quickly play this video um i think it's just a few minutes in today's video sunni the substitution theory yeah. which is so substitution theory meaning that um they use this word shubiha lahum meaning um to appear to them so it appeared like um jesus lest that some passed away and this is what we believe so everyone thought that uh, jesus lest that one passed away on the cross so they left him and they didn't um kill him or anything or break his legs as they usually do um so this is our belief but what they say is that uh, allah taala put someone else on the cross who looked like jesus Uh, and crucified him but jesus alayhi salam was saved uh, or brought up to the sky whatever they say um, which is completely wrong um, and this is what this is what uh, this sheikh umar sahib is is uh, preaching to people he's saying that there was someone else who was put on the cross uh, who was who was who was uh, crucified uh, jesus alayhi salam didn't die and so then uh, noman ali sahib uh, noman ali uh he comes in uh, and says what he's saying is completely wrong and it's completely made up is not in the quran that wanted to kill so him and said. stand an image being placed there or a person in his place and there are narrations in that regard um of of uh, a man one of the followers of the of of the hawariyin of the disciples who uh who took on the image of isa alayhi salam on the condition on the ask that he will be joined with isa alayhi salam in jannah either way the likeness of isa alayhi salam was placed on the cross and that's what was crucified this is completely false let us now hear noman ali khan expose umar suleiman no, true or false because even the theory that somebody was put in his place is not from islam because even the theory that somebody was put in his place is not from islam because even the theory that somebody was put in his place is not from islam and that theory could also be argued well if that's the case and it's as if allah is allowing one person to be punished in place of another because even the theory that yeah so um that's basically that's basically what the allegation is and that's the refutation and we say that should be allah uh, means that it appeared to everyone that jesus lest that islam um passed away or was crucified even now people still think that he was uh, crucified but here just to further explain um the word should be allah means he made it or him to be like it or him or dubious the question arises who is the person who was made to appear like one crucified clearly it was hazrat um, jesus lest of islam whom the jews tried to crucify or slay the theory invented by some muslim in, uh, commentators that someone else was made to look like hazrat jesus lest of islam and was then crucified in his place is simply simply absurd uh, the context of the verse cannot be twisted to make room for someone else no one else is mentioned besides the belief of god um made someone else an innocent person look like jesus they saw salam and die in his place makes god look very cruel um so that's basically the allegation and that was the answer 
uh, and we can never say that God goes against his against his nature and also in the Holy Quran as you know one verse always explains another verse that's the that's the way of the Holy Quran and the Holy Quran always says that no no one will burden um, anyone else's take the burden of anyone else so why would God take an innocent person put him on the cross and make him die just to show people that you know Jesus has passed away it's not right um, so Shubbi Allahum is a very important word which we have to translate properly for us to understand that uh, it was made to look like he was crucified but Allah Ta'ala only made him subconscious and then uh, made him conscious again afterwards so that's the allegation that's the answer uh, within five minutes I think I got that Jazakallah Tiga just a quick one there Jazakallah is that okay? Is that, is that good? <laughs> good, Zakalo, yeah, on the point, Rob <laughs> Straight to the straight to the money. That's it, man. Jackpot. <laughs> that's all it takes. That's that's the bleak hashda. Just we need to learn uh, new allegations and what people are saying. Uh, is Mubariz Mubariz anything on this that you want to say? No, Rabbi, we don't have any shubba lahum on your statement as well. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, uh, the, as you mentioned, that's the last sunnah to Allah that the God nature will never be changed. Jeez. The second thing you mentioned that the, there should be no contradiction, and there is indeed a no contradiction between the Quranic verses, as it is mentioned. Uh, this I don't remember the verses of this ayat, um, one, uh, but I know the Surah Maida, ayat one hundred and verses one hundred and seventeen or eighteen, mm-hmm. where it is totally contradicting with that Surah Maida ayat where Allah you know, the, at the day of judgment Allah is asking Hazrat Isa al-Islam that you say to the people that make me and my mother is uh, like the trinity uh, philosophy or the idea or mm-hmm. the belief so at that time at the day of judgment Hazrat Isa was saying that when I, once I was there I was super, for supervising them when you lift me up or you give me uh, die then you are uh, the supervising of the whole world so mm. that is totally contradiction with this one and the second thing uh, that no one will bear the burden of the other mm. uh, not in the world and not in the day of the judgment as well so this one uh, uh, from childhood from the call, school level in ninth class I heard the first time this uh, thing and at that time I have zero knowledge of the league and nine at the in ninth grade, his school, and the guy told me that story. And mm-hmm. the the problem is uh, for, uh, the problem with our society is that everyone is a scholar there, and <laughs> whoever whoever is pronouncing a very well hurufe halki hamza ha ain ha ain rain ha. If you will say Hazrat Isa Ali Salam, then you will be the perfect scholar. If you are going to the bar at night, but you are saying Isa from the halak. That means right. you are a good scholar. I will follow you and I will take a bath from you. So the thing is, they these are the metaphorical words. The, the people like the Dajjal thing, the Gada take it as, as it is, and the fairy tale, and the Shubbila home, they have made the story as well from the commentators of the Sunni or the Shia. So these uh, they never have the uh, mind to read about the metaphorical things. So it's all metaphorical right. way because Quran is not a fairy tale. Hmm. I was still, I like the Zakla. That's really good. I was speaking to my one of my friends in Mosul yesterday, actually, and he debates with his friend all the time, uh, and his friends always telling him that Ahmadis are the worst of the worst of the worst. Um, even Jews, you know, we can to an extent we can accept them. Even Shias, um, even Diobans, you know, all of these people to a level we can accept them. But Ahmadis, no way. Um, and then my friend just asked him, but. How can you say that um, you hold on to this thing of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam being Khatim and Nabi and being the last and best prophet, being the last prophet, but at the same time, you know, you're going to clubs, you know, you're sleeping with women, you're smoking, you're doing all of these bad things, but because you're saying Khatim and Nabi, uh, then you're fine. Exactly. Uh, exactly. And but Ahmadis, Ahmadis are the worst. No matter what they do, no matter how much namaz they pray, how much how much Quran they read, you know, they're the worst. And so when he asked him this, he had no answer. He just said, no, you, you guys are just false and this and that, this and that. You don't believe that the Holy Prophet is the last prophet. And just because they hold on to this thing, they think that they can do anything they want. Um, but because they hold on to this thing, that they are better than, than, than anyone else. Uh, so almost like, um, you know, the Christians believe that Jesus came to die for their sins and they could do whatever they want. Exactly. That's right. 
what these uh, Nanamadis are doing now with their saying that, you know, we don't believe in the Prophet Muhammad to be the last Prophet. Mm-hmm. And they, they just believe that them believing in, in that statement, they're going to heaven straight away, which yeah. is absurd, actually. So, um, on that, I, I myself had had an um, argument with a guy from my workplace, yeah. basically about Ahmadiyyat. He, he, he doesn't even know yet that I'm Ahmadi. So um, that's something that I'm still working on. And uh, he goes to me that he's, he's he's Gambian. He's Gambian. So you know how extreme they are. So yeah. uh, he goes, uh, yeah, uh, Ahmadis like this, they're not, they're not, they're car phrases this and that. I'm like, listen, um, he goes to me, uh, MDs in Ghana. I'm like, yeah, there's quite a lot of MDs in Ghana, you know. Um, mm. He's like, yeah, MDs, they come with the money. They 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 only they only have money. That's what that's that's what they use for their tablet. They convince people with money. They go around giving people money. I'm like, really? Yeah. Which video is this? I want to see him. <laughs> <laughs> I want to meet this guy. So I asked Steve, um, do you have anybody that has been to MD school like TI and you know? Because I'm sure they've got some in Gambia. He goes, yeah. His sister went to one of the schools. I was like, exactly. Did he pay for any fees? He goes, no. I'm like that's I'm a dead. They they don't ask for money. They bring mm-hmm. schools education for girl child and uh, boys as well. They don't ask for any money. That's their way of you know giving back to community. Yeah. And it's like yeah, but brother, they call for this, this and that. I'm like listen, <laughs> we continue have a time. I go go. <laughs> but you guys are so adamant. It's really sad, you know, when you're trying to. I mean, not argue, but to bring, you know, knowledge to them, to try and, you know, show them the light. It's mm. very hard, you know. Mm. Like you said earlier, it's just with prayers, you know, inshallah, that these people, Allah can change their hearts. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's, the, and that's the key, isn't it? And th- when their heart is closed and like stone, which the Quran talks about, it's very yeah. difficult for them to see anything. And it's like yeah. they're blind in this world and they'll be blind in the next um, so pray, pray that Allah Ta'ala opens their hearts up and opens their eyes so that they can see this, at least recognize that it's um, what the good work that we do. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's good. So I always like getting real life examples. Um, Hamza is always talking about it. Uh, support Jazakallah. That's, that's perfect example. Um, and if, you, if I can I just go back to this verse because it's, it's like so clear and I always, I just don't understand how people don't don't see this. It's written so clearly in the Quran that Wama kataluhu wama salabuhu. That um, he was not. He didn't. He wasn't. They didn't slew him, nor did they crucify him. But these two things, like, it's so clear that he wasn't killed, nor was he crucified. But it was just made to look like it was. And just that verse alone, right? That verse alone proves that Hazrat Isa Islam wasn't killed. And that's end of story. Um, you shouldn't, you know, make your own translations or make your own interpretations. It's it's one of one of those things which is so clear. Um, so the Jazakallah everyone. So that was allegation corner. We bring it to you every week. New allegation, um, old allegations, but answering it in in a different way. Um, make sure that you guys are able to go on social media because there's so much happening right now. And uh, any tweet that MEDs do. Uh, if Hazim Asim or the list of them has come, you'll always find um, uh, negative comments as well from people. So try and um, it's a bit easier now because you're not confronting anyone. It's just on online. So try and uh, try and answer an allegation and let's bring it next week and let's see what which allegations you guys have tried to answer. Tiga, Dizakala man.